Hello, folks. <laughs> Welcome to Dragon Keeper 19600's first Let's Play. That's right. I've been wanting actually to do Let's Plays of RPG Maker games for a while, but I just recently found out that there is a way to record uh, the screen on my Mac, like built into it. So I'm, I'm pretty psyched. So I can actually do the thing I wanted to do for a while, and uh, which is very exciting for me. Um, so the game I'm going to be playing today is There is a Picture by Mortis Ghost. Well, co-created by Mortis Ghost. And I, I thought I would um, start with this one because it's short and because the one of the guys who made it made another game that I'm a huge fan of called Off, which I will definitely be playing in the future. Um, so yes, uh, the opening theme here is Daisy Bell from um, 2001 A Space Odyssey. It's kind of a famous film, maybe you've heard of it. <laughs> Give me your answer, do I'm half crazy, all for the love of you. Pretty fitting song, not only for the game's themes, but because most of this game is in space. Uh, yeah, I've installed the font, I'm good. Okay, so this is a game that's less, uh, it's less focused on gameplay and more focused on being a short interactive story. Uh, sort of like the game Covetous. Online, I don't know if you've played that one. Um, I'm really big on these indie pixelated games, but anyway, you play this little cosmonaut dude who doesn't have a name, and like most of Mortis Ghost games, um, this one is really open to interpretation to the point where he kind of refuses to explain anything if you ask him. There is a picture, a picture of my son before the explosion, and I am so lonely now. So like I said, short story, confusing, open to interpretation. I can see the space through the window. Uh, another thing you'll notice is that the English in this game is kind of weird. It's because Mortis Ghost is a native French speaker. So, and I'm pretty sure he did the translations for this game himself. So if the <laughs> translation is weird, it's because he did it himself. But it might have been intentional. It is the command panel. Travel into space? I feel bad only crediting Mortis Ghost because I know one other person worked on this, but her name is too hard for me to say. So the object of this game is you travel through space, finding planets and your cosmonaut character has a mission to combine all these planets into one big planet. And to do so, each of these planets that have one inhabitant each need an object for before they agree to your plan. Nice spaceship you have. You're the guy with the big objects collection, are you not? The guy who wants to put all the planets into one. It's a good quest. I'd like to live with other people too. I'm quite lonely in there. It's okay. Well, we can deal together. I would like an object of yours. Can you give it to me? If you do, I will follow you. Thank you. So this ship is cluttered with a lot of stuff because this cosmonaut needs to go to a garage sale in space. Uh, and he just gives stuff away, but no matter how much you give away, the object that you gave away will be there again when you go to look for more. So it's like generating endless clutter. <laughs> You've got the object. You're a very nice guy. Thank you so much. I'll be there when you'll need me. Goodbye for now. So, uh, the game is kind of, it's not randomized. Like, you encounter the same planets in the same order, and they ask for the same stuff no matter what you do. This game sort of feels like, with a little polishing, could have been something, like, more involved. But I don't feel like it wants to be more involved. I feel like it's content with what it is. Hello! I are a cat. And this, this is my planet. You want will me joins you? I love my planet so much. I can has cheeseburger? Yes, really. <laughs> Please. Brings them to me quick now. This cat wants two, the greedy asshole. I <laughs> uh, should mention that the soundtrack for this game is done by alias Conrad Coldwood, who also did the soundtrack for Off. And yes, maybe I will marry Off. <laughs> um, it's very atmospheric sounding. You can't hear the audio very well in this recording, probably, but... um. Check him out. He's he does good he does good work. It's all very like atmospheric, sensuous kind of stuff. Red hat, and I don't remember what the other object was. Okay, we got some uh, looks like the logo on a USB port, and we have black triangle. We have pipe. We have crosshairs, swirls, uh, several crosses. 
a toothbrush. Uh, we have a pony and a marshmallow rainbow. Here we go. It doesn't matter which way you're facing, like, because you don't face anywhere because everything's very flat. That's another weird thing about this game. So there's not much dimensions, except for when you're exploring in space. What does it mean? I don't know. The objects you is have got. Thanks, you mate. I'll bring you my power when the time has come. Be right back. Ho ho. Uh, now, you never find out why the cosmonaut exactly wants to combine all the planets into one, but I think I have a theory that all these people are complaining that they're lonely. Well, the snake at least was, so I think it's something about trying to escape your grief by creating a paradise, or maybe... I don't know. There's someone I can't see. Someone with a crazy project. Someone who is feeling lost. And very alone. I will help you if you think it's the good way to follow. But I need something first. Like everyone. The object I need is quite rare. You can use the fusion machine if you need it. I think you will need it. I will wait for you to return. You can tell the type of media I usually indulge myself in when I don't even bat an eye at a giant fetus planet. Like, eh, yeah, whatever. So for this one, we need to use the fusion machine, which I forgot to point out in the other room. Oops. But basically, you take two objects and combine them and get something new. Oh, wait, that is the way I was supposed to go. Get the black triangle again. See, I just gave away this triangle, but it's still here. Since a predominant theme of this game seems to be grief, maybe it's like with grief, no matter how much... When you miss someone you love, you can't cry enough. No matter how much of yourself you give away, there's always more baggage to sort through. It's never ending. The way I heard it described once is that grief is a lifetime thing, but it doesn't always have to be a sad thing. You never really get over it, but you stop being as hurt, I guess. I'm not doing a good job describing it, but whatever. You are good at your job. I'll wait for you to call me. I hope your quest is right. So do I, giant unborn baby. Notice how the other two were outside their planets and the fetus was inside of his. It's a nice detail. Of course, if he was inside, how'd I see him? But whatever. It's the diamond planet. I'm a fucking diamond. <laughs> so you want me to be part of a new bigger planet? I don't like it so much. And if we all explode? Like the other explosion, where your son died. Oh, and your cat drowned this morning. We left the carcass on your bed. But say hello to your mother. Oh, wait, she's dead too. <laughs> Are you not afraid? Give me what I need, and I'll be part of your strange plan. After all, I'm just a diamond. I'm not afraid. So everybody has kind of a slightly different reaction now that I'm looking at this again. The snake says that he's lonely and being with others is a good idea. The cat seemed just kind of inane, like he just... I love my planet, so why he wants to fuse it with other people's, I don't know. The diamond doesn't like the idea, but insists she's not afraid and goes for it. I need a chair, not a triangle. I don't know what I'm thinking. Here we go. And who am I forgetting? Oh yeah, and the fetus just said, I hope your quest is right. So, it's not exactly united. Like, not everybody's clamoring for this. And everybody feels kind of weird about it. I'll take it with me. Here you go. Strange, giant, sentient diamond. How big are these planets, anyway? Thank you. I don't really know what I will do with a purple chair, but a trade is a trade. When you'll need me for your one planet stuff, I'll be there. Good luck. <laughs> I don't like your plan, I don't need a chair, but I'm gonna do it anyway. <laughs> I don't, I don't get it, folks. I don't. You found a planet. It's the ghost planet. There's a crazy man with a bat down here, help us! Flu, 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 flu. We're ghosts. Despair and sadness are our food. We like you very much. We will help you. Flu, 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 flu. You can see in our minds what we want from your collection. So go get it now. And don't forget to be sad. We like you. Flu, 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 flu. So I think the ghosts are more attracted to my negative mojo than anything. And they want... I have to get four objects for them, the greedy assholes. Let me see. Uh, we need this one. Yeah, take this yellow cross with us, and <laughs> someday I will learn the layout of my own damn ship. 
damn you, disproportionately large spaceship for a crew of one! Um, take this too. I'll take this one later. Okay, so I need to get the little blue octagon or whatever before I grab the triangle. Which seems kind of obvious in hindsight. No. I'll find it eventually, folks. Don't worry. Uh, I... I got this. No. Oh, uh, no. Hold on. There it is. Here we go. I'll take it with me. Uh, looks like Luxo Jr. from Pixar is up there. That's, uh, nice. <laughs> okay, fusion machine. Don't fail me now. Plop. It seems it worked. Okay, now I can go get the other thing and make that hourglass the ghosts want. Gee, why would entities associated with death want an hourglass? I don't know. What does it mean? So sometimes I get worried when people criticize, like, pretentious stuff or obtuse stuff that the, sim the meaning isn't ob immediately obvious. It's like, because it's like, I like stuff like that. To a certain extent, like, I don't like Eon Flux, even though it's all about that. It's like, uh, no, that just seems a little too... smug. <laughs> and, like, when they asked Peter Molyneux... No, Peter Chung. I'm sorry, Peter Molyneux, someone else. When they asked Peter Chung about it, he's like, I feel like ambiguity is the key to any artistic statement. It's like, so basically what you're saying is, you don't even know what your show is about? Why did you make it if you don't even fucking know what it's about? I don't get that. Like, you make fiction to say something, right? If you don't know what you're saying, why do it? I don't understand that. But everybody's different. So what I wouldn't do isn't necessarily what you wouldn't do. Or anybody else. It's the ghost planet. Again. Dawn, you made it. We can see on your face you're not sad anymore. Now we'll have to kill you. Does it mean you have collected enough planets? Yes. Yep. Got all the planets. And my objects are all now gone. Spontaneously. So, here we go. I need this for the fusion machine. So here are the planets all lined up in a row. Uh, reduced to objects that are not really talking to me. They're just kind of here. And put the objects to the fusion machine and push start. Plop. Boom. <laughs> Dear God, the gravity. Ah. Oh, no. Sorry. <laughs> you found a planet. It's the new planet you made. It's so beautiful! No, it isn't. Landing in progress. Hmm. So here I am, and you notice all those people who are all on their own planets, who are all alone. Now there is nobody. It's just me. And all that's left is the picture of my son. There is a picture. And with that, the game ends. Your scheme to create a new planet resulted in a planet with just you. So I feel like this is saying something about grief and about loneliness and about negative feelings. I'm not sure exactly what it's saying. Probably something like, if you try to do something to escape your grief, you might end up throwing yourself deeper into it. Or perhaps if you try, if you, the, just the opposite, if you dwell on your grief too much, it'll be all you have. The, the, we never find out what the cosmonaut's reaction to being alone with the picture of his son was. Was that what he wanted? Or is that not what he wanted? We're not sure. Whatever you think about it, that's the story. There is a picture. So it was a very brief, somewhat chilling game. Um, it makes you think, or maybe it just confused you. <laughs> I'm not sure. But it was, definitely has a certain charm for me. So um, uh, that's There's a Picture. Um, that was my first Let's Play. I hope you enjoyed it. And there will be plenty more to come, hopefully with games that are much more involved. I'm excited, folks, and I hope you're excited, too. Strength Keeper 19600, signing off. Thank you very much.